welcome to Wine News for you, Wine TV. Today we're going to be making chicken, sweet corn and mushroom pancakes. The recipe that I'm using is going to serve four people. Over here on the stove I've already got some chicken which has been simmering for about 45 minutes. In the pan you've also got quite a lot of water. We've got two uh, finely chopped onions, uh, large onions as well. Three uh, chilies which have also been finely chopped. Six to eight mushrooms, again finely chopped as well as one teaspoon of salt and one large heaped teaspoon of garlic. Are you sure it's not a tablespoon? Uh, you can use a tablespoon if you want it to taste a little bit more garlicky. Adds flavour. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 45 minutes. Once it's been cooking for that long, you need to drain the water out and let the chicken cool down. So then you can um, take the chicken and put it into really thin little strips to make the filling a little bit later on. So we're just going to put that into a colander now. Just being careful here because of the steam. So once you've emptied the whole mixture into the, into the colander, you probably need to leave it for about half an hour um, so that all the chicken cools down. So now we're moving on to make pancakes for the filling that we've just started making. We've made pancakes before and we're going to use the same recipe but just to recap, to make uh, enough pancakes to serve four, four people, we've got 400 grams of flour, we've got one teaspoon of salt in here, as well as two pints of milk and you also need two eggs. So we're going to start off just by putting the flour in, it doesn't have to be sifted, it's fine as it is. Then we'll put in the milk. and add the eggs as well. Okay, and just get a whisk. Hand whisk is fine because it shouldn't take too long to, to whisk up. Just keep whisking until you get nice smooth can, liquidy consistency. So I've been stirring this for about two minutes and um, we've got quite a lovely consistency here. It's nice and smooth and quite runny and that's what you need. I've also got myself a ladle and now we're going to go over to the stove and get these cooking. So we're now just putting some oil into a pan. This is low calorie um, spray oil. So the pan should be really hot and then we're going to ladle the mixture and turn the pan so that the, the mixture fills the whole of the base of the pan. Don't worry, worry if it looks messy, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, once the mixture's covered the whole the base of the pan, you can just put it straight down onto the heat, really high heat, and um, it'll take about two to three minutes to cook this side, and then we can flip it over and cook the other side. The, the way that you know when to turn it over is when all of this liquidy stuff has dried, it's fine to turn over. But they can view your professional pancakes on uh, our previous programme, can't they? Yes, um, from uh, February, the Pancake Day video. Make sure you keep a plate with some um, pa a paper towel on top so that once it's ready you can put it straight on and then make the whole batch. If you're feeling brave you can flip it as well but I'm not feeling very brave today so I'm just going to use my wooden spoon. Still not quite all dry. If you're not used to making pancakes as well, you can just kind of turn over one side and if you don't, if it doesn't look too brown, it should be a little, little bit brown. If it's not, then obviously you just keep it on there for um, a couple more minutes. So we're just about there, so let's turn it over. That's it, perfect. Look, should, look, should look something like that and you can see it's all cooked and that's so what now you need. we've um, made the pancakes and the chicken's cooled down we can now shred the chicken to make the rest of the filling so we've got like I said chicken breasts at the beginning which have been sliced um, so basically you just need to make them about this big so just peel the chicken you'll just it'll come off really nice and easily and um, because it's chicken breast 
Um, this does take quite a while, about 20-25 minutes depending on how, how quick you are. So if you're looking for a quick 5 minute recipe, this is not the one. Okay, so in here we've um, got all this shredded chicken. So you can see, you know, it's, it's really nicely sh shredded, quite small pieces. And in here we've also put the onions and the rest of the mixture that we had um, in with the chicken just to give the flavours. So into here we're going to also put this, some double cream. This is 600 mils of double cream. Um, you don't need to use it all. Um, it needs to just be a little bit runny. Okay, so into there as well we're going to put some sweet corn. So here we've got about, I think, 250 grams of sweet corn. It's got the, the juice in it as well, that's not a problem. Alright, so we're just going to mix that up and then we're going to, when you're ready to eat it, you need to put it back on the stove to heat it up. So once the mixture's been heated up, it's warm enough now to eat and to put with the pancakes. So we're going to fill the pancakes. Obviously there's lot, quite lots of different ways that you can fill a pancake. I tend to just put it straight down the middle. You can put as much or as little as you like on there. Alright, I think that's enough. And then you can just fold the one edge over to cover the filling and then fold the other one back over. And then to hold it in place you just turn it over and it should look something like that and it's ready to eat. Let's see what wines it goes with. So we've made the pancakes and now what we're going to do is we're going to look and see what wine goes with them. So in the pancakes we've got chicken, sweet corn and mushrooms. Um, as well as the salt and the chilies. So let's see what wines go with them. Right, so what we've done, okay, we've actually selected uh, a number of wines that could possibly go with it, especially with the cream. She's put some um, uh, chilies in there as well. So a little bit of spice coming through, I believe, on, 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 on the recipe and so on. So I've got three three different wines. I've, got. I've picked up an Australian Shiraz, um, and I've also got a Chianti Classico, and I've also got a Crianzo uh, Rioja from Spain. So I've, I've got three different wines in. Why have I picked this particular three wines? Well, what is it? Good? I, I think that a little bit of spiciness would definitely work with 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 the, with the pancake and the fillings in it. So what we're going to do, I, I, you know, so the, the so those are the couple of the wines that we could possibly try. And what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to try the the Chianti Classico first because it's got good levels of acidity in there, a little bit of spice in there. So here we go, and, and this, this is made with 80% uh, Sangiovese in here, this particular one. Comes from Tuscany, which is in, in Italy, so just have a whiff of that bouquet, right? So lots and lots of plums, cherries, floral, so a real floral smell coming through there, floral aroma coming through that. So let's see how this... You smell a bit of violet in there as well. Mm-hmm. A little bit of violet in there. So do you want to pour some out for you, Sabina? There you go, let's try it on. Okay, so we're going to try it with the Chianti Classico now. I'm just going to move the bottles out of the way here. And uh, so how long take you to make this, Sabina? It took 45 minutes for the chicken to cook, about 20 minutes to make the pancakes and then a few more minutes to shred the chicken. So about an hour so you, and I'm sure this will this will taste absolutely delicious. So let's just cut it open. There we go, yeah. chicken, sweet corn filling. Try with one. Green chicken. Slice bit of spice coming through there. And those flavours work, you know, the, 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 the cherries, the plums, the spice in this work very, very well with, with the chicken. And as you Nice dish, mm -hmm. nice dish there with a nice bit of Chianti Classico. So Sabina, what do you think? Do you think the wine goes quite well with the chicken? Works really well, yeah. The, okay. the wine enhances the flavour of the food, I think. <coughs> so here we go, Chianti Classico with Sabina's, what do you, what's your, what do you call it, Sabina? Spicy pancakes? 
So what I'll we gonna go with chicken sweet corn and mushroom pancakes. So we're gonna go with chicken sweet corn and mushroom pancake with a nice bottle of Chianti Classico.